Okay, uh, so if everyone's ready, we will do the uh, surgical safety checklist for a COVID-19 patient. Uh, so we'll start with the brief, um, which we're doing with the patient uh, outside the room. Uh, we'll introduce ourselves first, uh, Dr. Campbell, uh, oral surgeon. Okay, uh, Dr. Chu, anesthesiology. Megan, a nurse. Christina, ENT resident. Okay, very good. And we have uh, patient identity, uh, Mr. John Doe here for a, a tracheotomy. Um, surgical site has been marked. It's a midline procedure, so there's no side to mark, and the consent is accurate. Um, and there's no other specific concerns. Um, so we'll do the huddle now. Um, so uh, first we'll identify what level of PPE is required. Um, so this would be, given that the patient is COVID positive, this would be considered a category five or the highest risk uh, procedure with full PPE required, including an N95 mask and a face shield and closure of the uh, OR for at least 60 minutes after the procedure. Um, as reminders to everyone, we'd like to speak as loudly as possible while wearing PPE, be mindful of everyone's position during uh, anesthesia and ensure that we have a COVID sign uh, on the door to the operating room. So, uh, planned procedure is a tracheotomy, expected length about 20 minutes. Patient position will be supine with some uh, neck extension. I'll be the primary surgeon and Dr. Palki will be the assistant surgeon. We verified that we have the necessary equipment, which is the tracheotomy tube cuffed with the cuff to verify. Uh, there's no final test, uh, no final type and screen or blood to be available, no other test results. Beta HEG is not a concern here, uh, nor is the coagulation status a special concern. There's no essential imaging and uh, no uh, critical uh, steps to discuss at this time. So our, our surly is good. We have all the instruments we need. We have a six uh, cuff trach tube and the seal has been checked. The COVID sign is posted and we're using COVID precautions. And the family member is in the family lounge for post-op. Okay. The ASA is a 3E. The patient is 70 kilos. Would you like hands up? Yes, please. Okay, so that's two grams of ANSA. No allergies. There's not hypothermia risk here. I'm not going to be giving any local Yes, I'll be infiltrating some lidocaine with epinephrine into the uh, soft tissues of the neck. Okay. Um, the patient's already intubated, so we're not needing to discuss where we will be intubating the patient. Um, so just clarifying some roles. I will be managing the anesthetic. Um, I have an anesthesia assistant who will be present um, to help stay, uh, stay the, keep the anesthesia area clean. Um, we have a circulating nurse who is clean, and we have an attendant who will be our runner. Yeah. So the dirty areas in the room are all around the patient and the um, immediate uh, area. I have a drop bucket there for all my contaminated equipment. The anesthesia equipment has been checked, and I have all of my equipment, my aid, my medications, and basal pressures available. And we have our three airway trays outside the room if you need. Yes. Okay. Um, and that's all great. So it's time for the time up. Okay, time out everyone. Uh, we have John Doe here for a tracheotomy. The site is marked. Uh, there's no side to mark. It's a midline procedure. Myself and Dr. Pulky will do the case. Antibiotics make it in? Yes. Patient is supine with neck extended. There's no imaging, no specific cusp. Uh, we'll follow appropriate VTE prophylaxis. Any questions or concerns? No. Fire safety level is a three. Uh, minimize aerosolized particles. We use a judicious use of cautery with an appropriate smoke evac. I will paralyze the patient when we'll discuss the specific measures for making the tracheotomy window at that portion of the procedure to minimize aerosolization. Okay. So as we previously discussed, I'm going to paralyze the patient now. If there's any accidental disconnects, I will let the team know. Okay, great. That's 100 of rotherine going in. Okay. Are you okay if we start? Yes. I've got the twitch monitor on. We will confirm that he's completely paralyzed before we... Please. Sounds good. I'll infiltrate a little bit of uh, lidocaine with epinephrine into the soft tissues of the neck, the hemostasis, the analgesia, the back. Okay, okay if we uh, restart. Okay. Okay, so we'll make our skin incision here. Good, dissect down to the trachea, make sure we have good hemostasis. Good. So, okay, so we have the trachea exposed now. You can see the cricoid, you can see the tracheal rings. So, um, what I'd like what I'd like for you to do is, and we have we confirmed that the patient yeah, is paralyzed. Yes, so I'll just check the twitches. There are no twitches. 100% paralysis is on board here. Great. So, uh, at this point, I'll have you pause ventilation, deflate the cuff, and uh, advance the tube distal to the anticipated side of the tracheotomy window. Yep. And at that point, you can reinflate the cuff. Yep. Okay, so I'm stopping ventilation now. Cuff 
is completely deflated. I am advancing the two. Great. I'll feel along the trachea here. Okay. And I'm inflating the cuff. Good. And I'm restarting that motion. Okay. Okay. So we'll go over the plan. Okay. What I'll have you do is um, pause ventilation. We'll make our tracheotomy window. We'll visualize the tube inside the airway. Then I'll have you uh, deflate the cuff as much as necessary and pull the tube back, at which point we will then insert our tube, inflate the cuff fully and generously. We'll then connect it to an inline suctioning, and then to an HME, and then I'll hand it over to you to resume ventilation once the cuff is fully inflated. Yep, okay. And I see that your extension, your HME, and your inline is already in, in place. Yep, and we'll just connect that to the tube when we're, when we're ready. Okay. Yes. You're, everyone set to go? I'm ready. Okay. So, so we'll have you uh, pause ventilation. Stopping ventilation and now. And we're not going to use cautery once we enter the airway. Or not to use cautery or um, suction once we enter the airway. Okay. All right. So we'll uh, make my tracheotomy decision here. Take care of scissors. Good. You can see the tube there. Okay. Good. Okay. Perfect. So Excellent exposure. Yep. I am going to deflate the cuff now. Okay. The cuff perfect. is now deflated. And I'm going to pull back on the endotracheal tube. The endotracheal tube is coming back. Here. Good, good, good. Ventilation is paused this whole no time. No ventilation. Perfect. No. Keep that, coming. Is that good? A little bit more, a little bit okay. more. Pulling back. Perfect. Going to introduce the tube. Great. Excellent. We'll inflate the cup all the way. Great. Connect the inner cannula. And then we'll connect our inline suction and HME setup here. There we go. Okay. I'm ready and to, I'm going to take you. that. Excellent. All right, so I'm connected. The cup is up. Very good. Cup is fully okay, up. Yep. I'm going and to no initiate leak. ventilation. Okay. Okay. Ventilator is on. Excellent. We have entitled CO2. We have entitled CO2. Excellent. Great. Very good. Excellent. We'll now secure the tube with sutures and reinforce with a Velcro tie. Okay. So um, we're going to do the debrief. Okay. So the procedure we did was a tracheotomy. Tracheostomy wound class is clean contaminated. Our counts were correct. Uh, we had no specimens. There were no equipment problems throughout the case. There was no interoperative events to be noted of. No PSLSs were done. Uh, you'll notify the patient's uh, family. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we'll post, as the, once the patient leaves, we'll post the one hour time frame on the door. Okay. So we are not going to be extubating this patient. Um, we're going to be taking this patient down to ICU. I hope you'll be able to keep your PPE on um, if you're not too dirty and Absolutely. we'll go down. Yeah. Um, or actually I can get my anesthesia assistant or maybe someone else on the team who's actually already cleaned to take down to ICU with me. Um, and I have all of my medications and vasopressors available and we have a monitor for ICU to go down. Yes. Perfect. Um, that's it. And Perfect. then we'll take our time to offer.